Good work, you successfully cleared the first mission. I figured you'd have no trouble. I want to celebrate this accomplishment by giving you a special gift. I would like to present your very own ID tag. This tag will track your accomplishments. Congrats! Right now the tag is empty, but as you continue to clear missions, you'll earn medals. Besides clearing missions, there are other accomplishments that can contribute to earning medals as well. By the way, as a holder of this tag, you are now authorized to access two new modes. First, you can now visit the War Room. There, you can hone your skills with a series of challenging battles. Second, you can now engage in head-to-head -head battles with friends anywhere online. Check out both the War Room and online in the main menu when you get the chance. Alright, mission one's done. Off to mission two. I just received word that Oval Off has moved in to Alara Bay. Guess he's not going to give up so easily. Hmm. It appears that's not our only problem. Hornstar has hit a snag with its heavy armor development. Blue Moon, on the other hand, seems to have more than enough tanks. <laughs> Yikes. Can we defeat Olaf without any tanks of our own? I pulled some strings and had some helicopter, anti-air, and missile units sent down from the front lines. Although, that doesn't give us all that much of additional firepower. Nevertheless, with careful planning, I'm confident that we can drive away that pompous old... I mean, that we can force Olaf to withdraw. It's a tankless job, but somebody's gotta do it. Andy, go back to basic. Copter tactics. Blue Moon has a strong front in Alara Bay. Let's teach Andy how helicopters can lift us to victory. Looks like we're not the only ones with helicopters. Olaf is a shrewd tactician. As I suspected, he deployed a number of helicopters and medium tanks on the battlefield. A frontal attack from us it would only be reckless. Examining all of Olaf's units, I think we, there's only one viable option. Throw everything we got at him! Hmm. No, Andy. Strategy. Huh. We must capture the enemy HQ. Do you need me to explain? For that, we need to leverage our helicopter units. Do you need to explain how to use them? For me, no, but for Andy, being the simple lad that he is, yes. The enemy HQ is right below you. While it might be possible to march down there, all those enemies make that a risky venture. This is where the transport copters come in handy. Do you remember APCs? Just like APCs, tra transport copters carry infantry and mech units, but also like APCs, they have no weapons and can't fire. Select this infantry unit so that you can show how the transport copter or so I can show you how the transport copter works. Mm -hmm. That's right, now move here and load them onto the transport. There you go. I like that they actually hop into the transport instead of just like phase into it from the original. Very good, you loaded your troops. Now select the transport. Look how far your copter can move, and all because it's air unit, its movement is the same over all terrain types. You can only drop infantry units on terrain that can they can move across, so no dropping them in the water. This, that's important. Descend here and drop the units on the enemy HQ. There's only one space to place your troops. Go ahead and select it. Off you go. Okay, let's take let's test the capabilities of our battlecopters. Select them when you're ready. The battlecopter is an air unit, just like the transport copter. Since air units are always flying, they're, they are, they use two units of fuel every day. They also don't gain terrain bonuses. As for attack power, well, you should check out for yourself. The enemy tank here is pretty vulnerable. Now move the battlecopter next to it and fire. Powerful, aren't they? Battlecopters are even effective against tanks. Let me tell you a little bit more about these new air units. Even if you land them on allied cities and HQs, they won't recover HP or be supplied with fuel or ammunition. They can only resupply at airports, but you haven't seen any yet. If they run out uh, low on fuel, you can restock them with an APC, just like you do with land-based units. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you were listening, Andy. 
Do you want to tell me about your new ground? You want me to tell you about the new ground units? Yes. Let's look at our anti-air unit and see what they can do. They can attack ground units as well, but of course, they work best against air units. Now attack the battlecopter. And they are absolutely devastating against helicopters. <laughs> See how powerful they are against air units? It's pretty impressive if you ask me. They're far more effective than tanks against mechs and infantry. However, tanks are still typically will still typically defeat them in head-to-head -head combat. That last helicopter is going to be a problem. Luckily, I have a solution. Missiles can fire on, on air units from distance. Let the missile unit. Fire on the last battlecopter. I'm kind of surprised how drastically different the battlecopters for Blue Moon look compared to how they originally looked. Missiles are indirect units that can fire onto units that are three to five spaces away, but remember, they can't fire immediately after moving. Your main focus should be to draw units within the missile's attack range. It's smart to use them in conjunction with anti-air units. You only need to distract Olaf for a few days. Pay careful attention to the enemy battlecopters and medium tanks. Don't forget, we need to capture the enemy HQ quickly. If I know Olaf, he hasn't even considered the possibility that it could be captured early on. So for the most part, I don't think, yeah, we can't do that, but we can attack the tank. But doing so kind of leaves these guys vulnerable to them. So we just need to play defensively for the time being. So let's load you guys here. We'll drop you off right here. Finish you off. Alright, and how far can you go? Okay, you basically have free range of most of my units. See, Nell hasn't deployed any medium tanks. Go fuck my troops. This time, nothing can stand in the way of victory. Oh, you're going after the APC? Really? All right. I mean, cool, I guess. Surprised you didn't go after the artillery. I'm kind of surprised they were able to survive that barrage. And I'm surprised you didn't go after my tanks. Oh, there goes the infantry, so that might be a problem. He's just like one away. back. Pull you back as well. I probably should put you in the city instead.
All right. Let's put you right here. We'll move our artillery up a little bit so that way we have free range of the infantry and the tanks. And we'll put you in the force right here. You're basically useless, so we'll just put you back at HQ for now. And we'll see how much damage we can do before time is up. Or before we capture the HQ, I should say, not time is up. Let the winds of war bring snow. So this might be a problem, and we're going to be taking some heavy losses here. Oh boy. Blizzard. Yep, still survived it, surprisingly. Baseline that plays during Olas like CO power. Like it's subtle, but it's really good. Alright, well, thankfully, we don't have to worry about that artillery. And you know what? Let's see how much damage we can do before we capture it at HQ. Let's go. Let's have a little fun. Lucky star. All right, as Nelsa, let's have ourselves a little fun. Let's see what we can do. I say let's go for that tank. I don't want to risk losing too many units, so let's just see if we can take out... I want to say one medium tank, maybe two if we're lucky. <laughs> Get it? But lucky because we have net level. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. Don't think that our mechs are going to be able to take it out. You guys will definitely be able to take out that tank. see doubt this will take it out but who knows maybe we'll get lucky <laughs> All right, let's see two percent no that's not gonna do it and because of all this snow we're not gonna be able to get our troops close enough for that Can't move the mech either. Nine. Nope, that's not gonna be enough. Alright. Well, I tried. That takes care of that. Yeah. I can't believe he left his HQ wide open. It's not like this is his first time on the battlefield. <laughs> you know, Olaf is missing a key piece of strategy. It doesn't matter how strong your units are if you don't know how to use them. What in the- my HQ seized? No, this smells like one of your little schemes. I knew your troops couldn't whatever your threat to salt, so you pull this out of your hat? Uh, this isn't over yet. You sure are a quick study. Let's try another one. Hey, S rank, nice. I'm kind of surprised that we got an S rank in terms of technique or hunter and technique, given that we did lose a couple units. Though we did suffer losses, but I don't think we actually outright lost a unit. So, ooh, yeah, I'm actually kind of happy with that. I kind of surprised Power got a hundred because we did leave a good number of Olaf's tanks and units still alive. <laughs> 